Today at the SAS Forum, I gave a talk about a few different examples using mathematics, data and analytics to really understand what it means to be human. And I deliberately tried to pick some examples that really go beyond just thinking in terms of superficial statistics, because I think that can be a real danger when you're swamped with so much data, when you have all of these machine learning techniques to just dump all of your data into an algorithm and let that do the work for you. But really, I think I'm a big advocate of, of, of the role of the human in understanding ourselves and the patterns that we create. You have to have some kind of a theory for those mechanisms that hide behind the patterns. And that's really what I was, I was talking about today. So there are a few examples in particular that I chose. One, my absolute favourite, is about how to catch a serial killer based on the patterns that they leave behind them in their data. And this is a technique that's used actually around the world, has been for a number of years, that takes some very, very simple mathematical ideas along with data and really offers the police an actual way to help control their environment. There are a few other different stories that I try to tell, but overall, that's really my main message, is good data, good mathematics and good technology can really be used, I think, to make a real difference and a real social good.